So it's December 2nd, the second day of Vlogmas, and I wanted to talk about something that happened yesterday. I went out to dinner with a couple of new friends and they didn't misgender me, not once. Um, they even used the right pronouns when they talked to the server about me. And for the last half a year, I've been told that I'm expecting too much, I'm being too hard on people, it's too hard to get my pronouns right because uh, they were already calling me by different pronouns before and had to change, or it's too hard to get my pronouns right because they just met me and <sighs> almost everyone has really struggled with my pronouns and it has felt really bad and I have been told to stop overreacting and that I'm choosing to feel bad and that I'm just making things harder on myself. So I had come to a point where I accepted that no one was going to get my pronouns right and it just had to be okay. And in that space, being so casually and easily properly gendered It almost felt weird. I had trained myself to be okay with nobody ever seeing who I really am. And I didn't realize how pathological that actually was. How damaged people were demanding I make myself until someone actually called me he. And I went from that dinner to the grocery store where the checkout clerk pretty clearly was reading me as female um, or as something she wasn't sure just like the way she was calling me hun and I mean maybe she talks to guys that way I don't know but the bagger he called me sir and it felt really good and I've got to rethink this whole thing about whether I am overreacting to being misgendered. And I don't mean by strangers. Strangers can't help it. They don't know me. They have not been informed who I am. But people in my life, people who claim to care about me but can't get my pronouns right, I just realized yesterday how damaging that has been. And I only was able to realize it in the space that was opened up by being properly gendered. It is, however important anyone has ever told you it is to get people's pronouns right if, if they are in your life and you want to keep them in your life, it's twice that important, at least. It, it, there's, it cannot be overemphasized. Over it's so important. So, that's, that's my message for you today on the second day of Vlogmas is if there are people in your life and you're struggling with their pronouns, try harder. If you want those people in your life and you want them to be healthy and happy and not anxious and depressed, which is such a high risk for transgender people. And this is part of why we get told that who we are is not as important as we think it is. Um, don't do that to people, don't, especially people you care about, people you love. Don't do that to people. And uh, sorry it wasn't a message of Christmas cheer, but uh, it's the biggest thing that has happened in my last 24 hours so that's what I'm talking about today I will see you tomorrow um, there's other things I want to talk about I'll talk about them tomorrow tomorrow um, unless something else big happens I want to talk about emotions and happiness and sadness I got some pretty big things to say about that after listening to a lot of Alan Watts and spending a lot of time thinking um, but until then, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Happy December.